Hi guys, it's Kelly from Cards by Christine here with you on a Technique Thursday to share with you how to make this awesome money box card. So before I show you how to make this awesome card, I'm going to give you a thorough walkthrough. So the front can really be anything, um, but here's where the magic happens. You untie this bow and lift up the lid and you see your sentiment and your little something something. <laughs> so. I will post a picture of this in the comments, but also if you want to just take a screenshot, here are the measurements that I used to case. I will admit I did not design this myself. I cased it from a fellow demonstrator, but let's use that as a reference to make this awesome card. So first you take your Whisper White and cut it at three and a half then you make a score at one and a quarter and four and three quarters and then a cut at seven and a quarter. Set this piece aside because we will use it. Okay, then you're going to score each side down at a quarter of an inch. Okay, then you are going to take your paper snips and cut in on this intersection of score lines. Trim diagonals down here. and then follow up this score line at a quarter. If you want this to be more perfect, you can definitely um, use your straight cutter. Sorry, it's hard to hold this and trim. Okay. So now this is the main piece of your box, so you can set that aside and recycle your little schniblets. Easier said than done, I guess. Okay, then you're taking this piece, cut at a width of two and three quarters, and two and seven eighths and then slide that over a quarter and score. Now if you take, um, just if you want to get all your pieces prepped, if you take your DSP you can cut it at one by three and a quarter and two and a quarter by two and three quarters. Now all your pieces are ready. As for your card, it is a standard card base at five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. How I personally decided to embellish this was with the pine tree punch and the perfectly, perfectly plaid stamp set. Um, I used shaded spruce and early espresso. And then I made three of them and made it a pop-up Christmas tree. Seeing as how this is a hand-delivered card in most instances, because I don't think most people would feel comfortable mailing cash. Um, and just to let you know, a gift card does not fit in this. If you wanted to get 
um, creative. I'm sure you could make a size in which a gift card may fit. Um, but anyways, so I decided for that reason, um, it is going to be a very three-dimensional card. Also, the gift box is a, a little thick. Um, so, you know, you, especially when the bow is tied, um, you probably don't want to be mailing this card. Anyways, then I used on um, Whisper White, and I will say this is Sahara Sand for this particular design. Um, on Whisper White, I cut out with the snowflake dies, um, this beautiful cut out image, and then ran it through the Settle 3D embossing folder, and I added some sequin embellishments, the self-sticking kind. Um, I stamped this sentiment, Happy Holidays. <laughs> you will notice I tried two different colors. Um, this is more matchy-matchy, of course, um, but then when I noticed I used the real red braided um, ribbon on there, I kind of wanted a little pop of red on the front, so I actually switched to the real red, but this Happy Holidays sentiment is from the Poinsettias um, stamp set. So that's the basic gist of what I used to design the outside of the card. Um, and then I did leave the top above the gift box empty because there really isn't all that much room on top of it. There is about one and three quarters inches on top. And um, I know I want to sign it. So I didn't use the sentiment. However, of course, I did use the sentiment on the inside. And it says wrapped in love. I liked that because it's a gift wrapped box. That sentiment is also um, from the perfectly plaid stamp set. Also in shaded spruce. So that is um, a run through of the supplies I used. Um, so let's go ahead and I pre-designed that. Let's go ahead and put the inside together. So, you can fold on your score lines to start putting your box together. And then take tear and tape is what I decided would hold best um, for this box. You can go ahead and line it on. Ooh. Your box. Sorry, normally I don't do this many steps in front of you, but I thought it'd be nice to show you how to make the important part of this card. Every part of a card is important. The, um, <laughs> the more technique-based part. So tear off tear strips, fold it over, and close it. Now when I'm trying to stick this down with the sticky exposed, I'm pressing down and then kind of trying to meet up right at the edge while holding it down. And then I'm just going to gently push and then again, I'm just trying to match it right to the edge there. So, voila. You take your bone folder. Give it a nice, crisp crease. And then also to fold the box. Nice, crisp fold. Same on the little insert piece. Now, before I forget, I am going to take my shaded spruce, my block, and my sentiment. I'm getting things a little messy in here. Can't find my stuff. Now, you'll notice there's not really much room, so the sentiment is actually kind of perfectly sized to put on the top there. Um, so I want to keep it towards the top with... Now this is important. So you're going to have your score and fold over at the top, folded under the side that you're stamping with your sentiment.
One more for good measure. Alrighty. Set that aside to clean it off and close my ink pad because too many disasters have happened with an open ink pad on your stamping surface. Okay, so now that you have your box assembled, you can go ahead and take your liquid glue. Oh, goodness. I had a, a flyaway glue dot. <laughs> That's not right. Flyaway glob of glue, I should say. And put some glue on. If you use this same design, make sure your trees are heading north. Um, the benefit of using the glue is that you have a little bit of time to shimmy shimmy in case it's not perfectly um, centered when you put it down. But then it does take a little bit of extra time to dry. So um, you got to give it a couple seconds under your nice firm um, pressure. Actually, it's quite honestly gentle pressure. And then a little bit of glue here as well. Hey, I got a little glue happy. Holy wow. Um, if you have an adhesive eraser, if you have some of that glue that squeezes out the edge as it's um, getting pushed out, that will take care of the little bit of spillover that I inadvertently had. Okay, so then your present is ready. So you can go ahead, and again, I used um, tear and tape on here. So stick that on. Tear off the backing. Then um, slide. You can kind of squeeze to open it, make sure it goes in um, and then you want to line up the top of the cut with the score that meets the top of the box if that makes sense so you can fold this flat so you make sure you get it where you want it and then close the lid of your box press that tear and tape and then now when you open you can slide in the cache and close your box. Okay, so the box is done, yay! Now, take your tear and tape and write, run a nice strip down the middle. You can either measure or eyeball. I did not do a great job eyeballing on my sample card. I guess that happens sometimes. Okay, then you're going to peel off your backer and put down your ribbon. Now, you need to have plenty that you have enough to tie. I would not say I was very generous with this. This bow is a little hard to tie, so I'm going to try to do better and have more than... Okay, so this one I would call just enough. And that was three and a half inches. So I'm going to lay my ruler down and make sure I give myself a good four inches, if not more. I'm going to do four and a half because you know what? I can always trim it. And make sure it's not twisted. Right here I had it twisted. So make sure it's nice and flat. Set it down and press it down. Then, because there's going to be some tugging when you're tying, I again used tear and tape to 
to seal up the back of the box. Okay, bear with me. We are almost done with this awesome project or card or both maybe. So press down, you can use your um, bone folder to get nice um, pressure on your ribbon, or not your ribbon, your tape. Then peel off your backing yet again. You guys, there's so much pressure. And I have long fingernails. Um, otherwise, if you do not do very well with getting the backing off, you could always use the take your pick tool. Works really great on something like this. And then make sure if you have your card um, front done before, make sure you're putting the present on the right side. Bonus tip. Um, otherwise, if you are making this, you might want to put the gift in first and then design the front. That is how I did the first one, but I didn't want to have a blank card when it was done when I was showing you guys. So um, I kept it about a quarter of an inch off the bottom and then centered as best as we could. No pressure. Press it down. Go ahead and tie your bow, make it all beautiful, trim your edges, and voila! It's done! What do you think? When I saw this posted by a fellow demonstrator, I knew I needed to make some of these. Um, I have a couple people in my life that are quite difficult to um, gift when it comes to Christmas, um, namely father and father-in-law. <laughs> Does that ring a bell to anyone else? Um, so I knew I was definitely going to be casing her card and making some of these awesome cards for the holiday season. So um, what do you think? Are you inspired? Do you love it? I'll show you the measurements one more time if you want to take a quick screenshot. Mm, let's get it all in. There you go. Um, I hope you love it. I hope you make some. And if you do, please, please, please share with us. Um, Chris and I and everyone in our beautiful Stampin' community loves to see the cards you make, especially when you're inspired by something that we put out for you. So I hope you absolutely love this card. I hope it's as exciting to you as it was to me. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It is in sight, my friends. So, um, so is Christmas. Oh my goodness. Let's see. I think we're down to eight days till Christmas when this is airing live. So <laughs> yikes. <laughs> so anyways, um, love, sunshine, hugs, happiness, creativity, sending your way, and we will see you soon.